let's talk about visualizations and manifestations and I just want to quickly state my opinion here which I believe makes sense so recently I've been in this kind of position where I didn't have many goals in terms of you know my personal life such as you know those even materialistic goals outside of military since you know I'm in military and I'm only like not only but mostly focused on the military things and those things that you know I can control now such as you know workouts my personal development and you know what I can manage to do in in the military and because of that I have kind of forgotten the thing visualizing that is I kind of have lost the belief that visualizing is important and now I'm getting back at that and I'm, I'm gonna tell you why but for the past two years probably I've been visualizing a lot and those visualizations have worked a lot for me what I believe visualizing does is whenever you have this kind of a vision in your mind since mind is one of the most powerful things that you have as a person at all it gives you this it makes you believe in yourself right and whenever you see yourself achieving a certain goal whenever you see yourself as a person who has already achieved this goal it makes you believe that it's easily possible right and that way when you have the vision when you have the image of where you want to be and you imagine yourself as already in that position it gives you the hard drive to actually push to that position since if you can imagine you can achieve that right and a lot of those things actually sound vague strange and you know most of us look at those things as the things that don't really matter since they're not real but whenever you see people very successful people not only in the materialistic side of things but also in sports and I don't know studying and those simple things most of them talk about these kinds of things especially those manifestations where they create visions and they achieve those visions while they take action right so why not believe in those things just a simple question why not just have a clear vision of where you want to be and where you are right now and you know why not ask yourself what to do to close that gap what actions should you take to actually become that person which you actually desire to become to become that person which you see in your vision and because one of my friend right now one of my military fellows gave me this perspective of the extremely strong believing in himself the extreme confidence that he will achieve those things which he desired to achieve I got back to visualizing things and this person this guy really inspired me with the way he visualizes because he not only visualizes but for example he draws his house the house that he wants to have in the future for example he draws his car he visualizes his whole life the way he looks the way he talks the way he walks the way he does things and I believe that's the thing that has a lot of power 
And that's the thing that makes you believe in yourself as well. That's the thing that makes you confident in yourself. Because how I see those things is just like I mentioned before, this little gap between where you are here right now and where you want to be. And this gap right here is just the things that you need to do in order to go from here to here. Just a little gap, which of course takes a lot of work, but why not really take some time, some minutes throughout your days to just think and visualize, to just imagine yourself as the one who really made the things happen, who really worked, took action, took some time, took some effort, and became the one you have imagined and desired to become. I believe that, like I said, mind is the power that you have which you must use, right? And there's a big part of the imagination and the physical action, which makes a difference, right? Firstly, you imagine, and secondly, you take action, you work for the thing. And since the imagination was real, right? And if you took the right actions. The imagination becomes the reality. So how I used to do my visualizing things, practices, is that I used to have, you probably have seen, if not, there's some videos where I've posted my wall of greatness in my room where, you know, I used to have my goals written on the paper. I still have them right now. And how I write my goals is just, I write the goals in the words where I already achieved that goal. And then I visualize the thing, right? And then I just try to close the gap. I just try to take the right actions and make it happen, as simple as that. Just a simple practice, such as a meditation practice, before sleep or in the mornings, where I just take some time, close my eyes and just visualize. No distractions, no sounds, no moving. Just you and your imagination, trying to clearly create an image of you who has already achieved a certain goal which you desire to achieve. As simple as that, bro. I believe it's a mental practice which helps you a lot. And I have forgotten it for a long time, you know, in, in the chaos of where I've been for the past few months. And since I've gotten the things, you know, in control right now, and I can really move on right now from a little bit military things to also my personal life. I can come back to those things that are meant to me, that are helping me, and that will make my future brighter. And so I highly suggest you to do it as well, because you know, it just seems like a fantastical movie where you must where you just, I don't know, waste your time. But I've seen some things out of my vision become the reality, which makes me believe that these things are real. Also, it, everything depends on you, right? Not on Santa Claus, on God. And it's just you and your team or just you who will make it happen. I hope you have understood this, this concept of visualizing and manifesting, you know, taking some time to, you know, just think and fantasize about the 
really you who you want to become and I hope that your visions will become clear and your life will reach those visions and you will truly become the one who you highly, highly want to become. Good luck.